When it comes to fighting the climate crisis, you're probably familiar with those shining solar panels. And hopefully you know about those amazing tropical forests that soak up carbon. But there's another planet-sized force on our side, an unsung hero that's really making waves. We're talking about our ocean. Not only is the ocean home to some of the most astounding creatures on Earth, it also provides half of the oxygen we breathe and it regulates weather patterns around the world. And parts of the ocean are real superheroes when it comes to preventing further global warming. Coastal habitats like salt marshes, seagrasses, and mangroves can store up to 10 times more carbon per acre than forests on land. And they don't stop there. Using their roots, these wetlands trap the carbon from decomposing plants in the ocean floor, sometimes for thousands of years, keeping it from driving temperatures even higher. But these mighty defenders need our help. All around the world, we've lost up to 29% of seagrass meadows, 35% of tidal marshes, and 50% of mangroves. And we are still losing them now. And when we lose these habitats, we don't just lose climate allies, we lose protection from storms, nurseries for fish, and homes for amazing creatures like manatees, rays, and birds of all kinds. But we can help these heroes out by choosing seafood that was produced without harming coastal habitats and planning new development better so we can ensure fresh water keeps flowing to mangrove roots and pollution stays out of seagrass meadows. We can all do our part to protect our ocean and its coasts because when mangroves, marshes, and seagrass join forces with clean energy, forests, and other habitats, that's how we turn the tide on climate change.